Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. I hope you've had a great week and you were able to get mm, all your errands run and now you can sit and stitch all day long. That's the best part about Saturdays when you plan it right. Right? Right. Today, I thought I'd continue with our um, Stash and Tell series and show off the, uh, the Mirabilias that I've collected. And I threw in the uh, Lavender and Lace ones that I have too, since they're roughly related. Uh, today is the uh, opening night for Beauty and the Beast up at the Hale Center Theater in, in uh, West Valley City, so I get to do this. Hopefully I have time to get it edited and uploaded before I run north and start the show, so wish us luck. No, wish us a dismal f failure, since wishing luck is bad luck and failure is good luck. I'll never understand theater, you guys. Never. But anyway, let's start the... Stash and Tell! Uh, like many of you, uh, one of the first patterns I fell in love with was the uh, Celtic Ladies series from Lavender and Lace, so we'll start with them. Here is a wonderful glary uh, winter. I'm sorry, I have to hold it at such a, an angle so that you guys can get a look at her. There have been some uh, absolutely amazing, beautiful conversions to winter. I think our, our own cowboy, cowgirl Kate has even done one where she has a hood and, and, and whatnot, and it's just amazing. All right, here is Spring, also by Lavender and Lace. And I think she's got to be my favorite simply because she has the uh, purple robes, and purple is my absolute favorite color. I might have to convert her hair to brown so that she has brown hair just like I do. Purple and brown. Here is the lovely Summer. I like her colors as well. Very soft and very pretty. Summer. Um, autumn. I know a lot of you have seen the, uh, the color conversion that converts her into more autumny colors, the uh, golds and oranges and, and deep greens. But I'll probably stitch her in the uh, the called for colors simply because that's more of a purpley blue and I love purple. And let's see, we have Noelle, our Celtic Christmas. She's gorgeous. I accidentally bought two of her and she is, I think, the only pattern that I have bought two of which is, you know, a win for me, considering how much random um, patterns and things I have. So there's my other Celtic Noel. I didn't open her and look at the pattern or anything yet. And then here is Secret Santa. I just love him sitting there in his uh, easy chair after a hard night. I'm not too thrilled with the poem. So I've thought about um, cutting the... Uh, the ribbon here that runs down the side of the poem and just kind of cutting it and moving it up so it ends right about the uh, bottom of his hat, kind of in this area. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, he's just a handsome fellow. So now, on to the, uh, the Mirabilia's proper. This is yet one of the kits for the uh, Christmas Elf Fairy. She's gorgeous. I keep thinking I'm going to start her, but I don't because something always comes up. Isn't that the truth of it, ladies? All of us were like, oh, I'm going to start that one, and then we don't. That's just it is. I have um, in the Little Stitches series, this is Bedtime Friends. Um, also in the Wee Little Stitches series. We have Rose, Rosebud Lullaby. And the last one in that series is Newborn Joy. I think there might be a couple others out there. I'll have to see. But it's interesting. I know this is a, a newer print because it's packaged in the uh, traditional Mirabilia envelopes where the other ones were of uh, an earlier release since they had the, uh, the different styled envelopes for them. All right, here's one where we have lost the picture cover, but it's Roses of Provence, and you saw that the other day because it was a new acquisition for me. So there is Roses of Provence. We have the uh, June Pearl Fairy. She's 
she's lovely. The uh, yellows in her dress are not my favorite. I'm not a big fan of yellow, so maybe we'll have to convert those to, oh, I don't know, maybe a soft green, a light blue, something like that. If we get ambitious. After the, uh, the crazy ambitious that I'm going on with um, Gypsy Mermaid, it may be a long time before I try to convert anything ever again. Here is July's Amethyst Fairy. Uh, most of us know that there was a mistake when this was published since Amethyst is actually the birthstone of February and not July. But I do love how purple she is. Are you going to come up for a hello? Or are you just going to watch from below? You're going to come up for hello. You're in the way, sweet pea. Yeah. Yeah, you are. This is Giggles in the Snow. It's really cute, but I honestly, I don't think that I will ever stitch this one. It's really adorable. Oh, now you're going to get caught in the bookshelf. Yeah, you can't turn around. <laughs> Here is Santa. He is a full coverage piece. I've seen him stitched. He's absolutely gorgeous. Handsome, handsome man. And one of these days I'll, I'll get my nerve up and I'll actually stitch him. This is Christmas Elegance. I have also seen her stitched up and she's amazing. One of these days, one of these days, if I live to be a thousand and three, I might get her done. Let's see, we have Mermaids of the Deep Blue. Wonderful. I've seen so many different conversions on their tails. I've seen one where they're blue and kind of a pinky red. And others where they've both been gone blue or both been converted to purple. Anyway, they're gorgeous. I might have to, I might have to stitch them as they are. Mermaids of the Deep Blue. Beautiful. We have Siren and the Shipwreck. I think she's, eh, she's a newer release, but I don't know. I could say the other day, and the other day pretty much covers everything from yesterday to maybe five years ago. Five, ten years ago. It was just the other day. Just the other day. Here is the Enchanted Mermaid. <clears throat> She's lovely. Here we have... Oh, just stuck together. Queen Mermaid. She's beautiful. I love her. I should have take, taken better notes, you guys, because just yesterday I watched a, a floss tube where one of our, our ladies had um, stitched. I think there were six mermaids stitched, and she had them framed and hung on the wall, and they were absolutely beautiful. And you, you know these pictures don't always do the gorgeous stitching and colors justice. And so she had done them and had them on the wall, and I was like, oh my goodness, they're even prettier, you know, done up, which we all know is the truth, but... So that really inspired me. And I should have taken notes and written it down so I could say, go see so-and-so's video. It's fabulous. Go see her video. I'll try to look it up while I'm doing the editing, and uh, I'll put it down there in the comments sections. Or uh, the description section. Anyway, Deepest Love. She's gorgeous. Beautiful. Here we have Emerald Mermaid. I've seen her converted to, I think it's a purple, or maybe it was um, Queen Mermaid that's been converted to purple. We'll see. We'll see. Like I say, after Gypsy Mermaid, I, whoo, I may not take on that quite a challenge again, but then I've never been able to say, oh no, psh, I can't do that. I was just jumping head first and, you know, sink or swim. This is the Winter Queen. Gorgeous. Spring Queen. I think she's my favorite. I love the colors in her dress, even though it is yellow, but there's a lot of purple going on. So uh, that may keep me happy when I get to stitching her. The uh, Summer Queen. <laughs> Did I see somebody who had converted her dress to either a light purple or a light pink? 
probably be light pink, but anyway, somebody's working on a conversion for Summer Queen. You're right in the way, Zoe Cat. You're right in the way. No, 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 don't rub up against the, the camera. Oh, you want to go? All right. That's all right. <laughs> this is Autumn. Autumn Queen. She has really, really rich co colors. What are you doing? What are you doing, little cat? Come here. Come here. Yeah, there's a good girl. There's a good cat. Yeah. This is Royal Holiday. I love all things Christmas. So of course I have to have her. You're in the way. Get down. Get down. Alright. Yeah. I know it. I'll give you your scratches in a minute. Let's see. Royal Holiday. Here we have Queen of Peace. It is Queen of Peace, I believe it is. That there's a gal on the uh, Mirabilia Conversions um, board who is stitching it in red, white, and blue. So her dress is blue, the uh, stars are white, and her sash is mostly red. Um, she saw the original conversion for the red, white, and blue in a uh, an LNS somewhere. And so she is, is working with their conversion, and she is just beautiful. Just beautiful work. The blue contrasting with the red sash. It's just stunning. Stunning. You guys have to go look that one up. And then we have Queen of Freedom. The flag. And let's see. What's my folded up piece of paper here? This is the uh, Deepest Love Conversion in Purple. Keep that with my things. And then we all know Leilani, the hula dancer, which is the freebie on the uh, well shit um, website. So that's my Marabilia collection and my Lavender and Lace collection. Um, way more than I can stitch in a lifetime, that's true. But, you know, a girl's got to have a dream, doesn't she? Um, I think that's everything for this week. I thought about doing a tag, but... I read through all the tag lists, and since I'm so new and I've done a couple of tags, what are you doing, cat? All right. She's over there on the desk with the computer. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Uh, anyway, that's about it for this week. I have the uh, theater tonight, and I'm hoping to get this edited and put up before I have to leave. Um, more than enough stitching to last a lifetime. So I hope you guys had a great stitchy week and you're able to get all your errands run and have a great stitchy weekend. I hope the frog stays far, far away from your house. I seem to have booted him out from my house again. Um, thank you for all of you who have liked and commented and subscribed. Thank you, thank you. It means the world to me. It's such a lovely, it's, it's lovely to be in this, this community and I grateful that I have a job where I can be doing accounting reports in one corner of my screen and watching you guys on floss tube in another corner of the screen that allows me to be mostly caught up with you and get about two days behind on Monday since I don't have a lot of time on the weekend to watch you but that's neither here and there anyway hugs and stitches bye